Welcome back to Schools Challenge 2020. It's the 13th match in round one. The scores have changed somewhat. Jamaica College on 30, St. Hughes high on 34. St. Hughes got an extra point for who is the chairman of CARICOM, and of course that's Mia Motley. But they also lost a point for who is the president of Aquatic Sports Association of Jamaica. The pass came first, and Jamaica College lost a point for the question, which Caribbean country has the longest river, and the wrong answer came first. So now we get into our buzzer challenge. Teams must press the buzzer, wait to be identified before giving their answer. Two points will be added for correct answers, but teams will lose two points if the answer is incorrect. So teams, it's time to gear up with your quick fingers, quick thinking, and some fast answers, which could put you one step closer to winning the championship. Let's have four minutes on the clock, please. And the first question comes from Bible Knowledge. What was the name of the type of wood used uh, St. Hughes? Gopher. Gopher! Yes, to build mm -hmm. Noah's Ark. Biology, what is the name for the modern method of increasing the shelf life of food by exposing them to radiation from a radioactive source? Uh, next one will come back. Irradiation. English language, by using the word blow, give an expression which means to boast about oneself. St. Hughes. To blow one's horn. Yes, and we move on to international affairs. Look at the monitor. This is a visual one. Identify this person. St. Hughes. Miguel Diaz Canel. No, Jair Bolsonaro. Chemistry, how many neutrons are in the hydrogen? St. Hughes. One. One. No, hydrogen atom, and that would be none. Music, listen to the clip, identify the group. The Jonas Brothers. And general knowledge, what is the official language in Austria? St. Hughes. German. German. Correct, Spanish. What part of a plant is La Oja? St. Hughes. The leaf. The leaf. Correct, geography. What is the name for the variation of life forms within an ecosystem? Next. Biodiversity. Mm -hmm. Theatre and cinema, look at this clip, identify the person. St. Hughes. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. Correct. Information technology. What was the name of the first American computer scientist who led the team that would create the first computer language compiler? Next one. Next one. Grace Hopper. History, who succeeded Eric Williams as Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago? George Chambers. Mathematics. A cyclist sets out from home at 0650 hours and arrives at his destination eight kilometers away at 0710 hours. What was his average speed for the journey? Twenty-four kilometers per hour. Physics, what principle states that every point on a wavefront, St. Hughes? Um, Huygens principle. Yes. Good. Good. Sports, look at the monitor, identify this person. St. Hughes. Diego Silva. Diego Silva. Incorrect, uh, Alexis, Alexis Sanchez. Jamaican heritage, complete the Jamaican proverb. Creven, JC. No, Craven Chalk Poppy. French, what specific part of the body is l'ongle? St. Hughes. The tongue. The tongue. No, fingernail or nail. Literature, which author and artist coined the word nerd in his 1950 book, If I Ran the Zoo? Next one. Dr. Zeus. Art. Claude Monet's father disapproved of his career as a painter. What profession did his father want him to pursue? Builder. Grocer. Bible knowledge. Who was the father of Lamech? And that would be Jamaica College? Correct, as recorded in the book of Genesis. Biology. What is the name of the membrane and closed organelles that contain an array of enzymes capable of breaking down all types? St. Hughes? Lysosome. Lysosome. Yes, types Good. of biological polymers. English language, spell approbation. Okay. Jamaica College. 
A P R O B A T I O N. I'm sorry. A P P R O B A T I O N. Loco. And that's the final bell. That's the end of the final challenge and the end of our match. And the scores at this time are St. Hughes High on 40, Jamaica College on 30. We'll double check those scores and return with the final results right after these messages.